I love coffee. I included my health deals in the Mormon church. I would drink it with stealth. Normal in the day and the decaf at night with the flavor so strong. Yeah, it makes me feel right. Yeah, a little bit of that French rose. I enjoy it black and even with a little bit of creamer. Can be a good help if you're a daydreamer. Cause it's an attention redeemer. Giving me the energy and the motivation to bring my ideas and give them elevation. Let the world know where I have a place in. Cause it gives me a good taste. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed the Starbucks or the McCafe. Quality comparable, some easier to pay. So damn good I would have it every day. If it was gone, I would have complaints to say. Vanilla bean frappe with the chocolate chips or a hot mocha with whipped cream knees or with the trips or a little bit from the pot at 6 a.m. Sugar half and half this mix is paying off in the form of energy, which believe me is enough for me. And if power is locked, it would be the key. I prefer in the mornings much more than tea. Starts off your day well, the peak drops at night with a balance so good, how couldn't it be right? So convenient on a store shelf. If you have a Costco membership, buy two pounds with your wealth. So make a cup, what are you waiting on? Add a little bit of mocha sugar at dawn. It's a pot of gold, but without a leprechaun. Because that stuff's fake, man. Excuse me there for the run-on sentence, but I gotta emphasize, coffee is the essence. Lifts out the lows and smooths out the highs. If you drink the right amount, it will make you feel right, yeah. If you have a rabbit head, then give it a test. If you're a little drowsy, it will press upon your rest. With a little bit of cinnamon rolls or apple pie, that would be the best. That is no why.